हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम सुनील कुमार पीजीटी कॉमर्स केंद्रीय विद्यालय सेक्टर एट आरगीपुरम लेट मी टेक यू टू आर अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ बिजनेस ट्रीज क्लास ट्वेल्व स्टूडेंट्स इन आर प्रीवियस एपिसोड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द मीनिंग ऑफ प्लानिंग डेफिनेशन ऑफ प्लानिंग एंड फीचर्स ऑफ प्लानिंग बाय द टाइम स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड दीज टॉपिक्स एट होम एंड नाउ यू आर एबल टू कनेक्ट द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ प्लानिंग टू द परफेक्शन the next topic of planning is importance of planning here the planners they have to decide why the planning is important why planning is required actually the planning is required because it is going to benefit the organization in many ways so the various importance of planning are as follows number 1 planning provides direction it is the first function of management and certainly the planning it is done on the paper and tells other functions how these has to be performed here the manager has to decide that what type of activities the organization has to take into consideration what are the courses of action which are required to meet the goals of the organization and once the objectives and the goals are set in the various alternative courses are searched out the best one is selected and the selected one will be communicated to all the employees of the organization and now the employees they are very much aware that what type of activities they have to perform so as to help the organization in the achievement of organizational objectives so here planning is the only function which keeps the organization on the right track it helps the organization and it helps the employees as well in understanding that what type of activities they have to perform and how more importantly they have to perform so it is only the planning function which will give them the way which will set a path for the organizational activities and all the employees they have to work in that direction only and they have to meet the objectives of the organization the second point of importance is it reduces the risk and uncertainty as the planning is done for the future and it is of course full of risk and uncertainty there is no one in this world who can forecast the future to the perfection but the managers by having their previous experiences by having various information and data they can just look into the future they can just forecast the future that this is going to happen but 100% it is going to happen that is not sure but it helps the organization in detection of threats well in advance so that after getting the warning signals the organization will be preparing itself will be making changes into the, in the policies of the organization and these policies will help the organization in meeting the challenges which are coming in the future so it is imperative for the organization to go for the planning since the planning reduces the risk and uncertainty once again student it only helps in the detection of risk and uncertainty it gives the strength to the organization to meet all the challenges which are available in the future so the only detection of these uncertainties not the elimination of these certainties now we are having our next most important factor of the importance of planning as planning reduces overlapping and wasteful activities since in an organization everything is planned everything is decided well in advance when it is to be done how it is to be done and by whom it should be done so here each and every employee is clear in his head that what type of activities the employee has to perform what type of things he is supposed to do in the organization each and every individual will be working towards the same direction and that is the achievement of organizational objective but they will be working in a single direction only when when they are clear in their head and it is only the planning which is clearing their head which is removing all the confusion from the minds of the employees that what they are going to do and planning makes it clear what they have to do as a result the operations of the entire organization will be moving towards the attainment of organizational objectives which are well set in advance by the managers at the beginning of the planning that are set for the business organization in the past when the planning function was formulated now students we have come to our next point of importance of planning planning promotes innovative ideas as the planning is done for the future 
managers are having ample time to decide that what type of plans to be drawn, what type of policies, what type of procedures, what type of methods the organization has to adopt so as to achieve the organizational objectives. So here, the managers, they have to think in the different ways. They have to scan the environment and after scanning the environment, they have to see that what type of activities will help the organization in the attainment of the objectives. So more and more different type of ideas will be coming. Different methods will be coming into the minds of the managers. And since they are having ample time in their hand, so they are doing it for the betterment of the organization. The managers, they will keep in their mind, yes, these are the activities which will help the organization in getting its goals. Now, we are come to our next point of importance of planning that planning establishes standards for controlling. In controlling function, we have to compare the actual performance with the standard. And after comparison, we'll be able to take out the deviations. And once the deviations are taken out, the business organization will be able to understand whether the objectives of the organizations are achieved or not. The various factors which are affecting will be taken into consideration. Take an example, we have set a standard that each employee will be manufacturing 20 units in a day. At the end of the day, it was found that only 15 units are manufactured. So the organization has to look into the matter, why the five units are less. They have to see what are the possible causes for the same. There may be two causes, either the employee is not putting best of his efforts, so the production is less. or the target set was very high for the employee. So now, because of we are able to compare between the 15 units and 20 units, it will give an example. It will give an idea to the management that what are the possible causes so that those causes, those deviations will be taken into mind and the corrective measures will be adopted so that in future, such type of deviations will not take place. So here in planning, it provides basis for controlling. If there is no planning, there will be no standard set for the organization and for each and every employee, and there will be no comparison will be made. As a result, business won't be able to compare the actual performance with the standard performance. Business will not be able to know what are the deviations and what are the possible causes of the deviations which are coming. So, it is only the planning function which helps the organization in deciding that what type of activities are to be performed and are to be compared with. Now, we have come to the last importance of planning. That planning facilitates decision making. What is decision making? That is to decide about a particular activity, about a particular operation, about a particular product, whether it should be taken into consideration or it should not be taken into consideration. Students, if the planning function is not carried out properly, it will be almost impossible for the managers to decide that what type of decision will be fruitful for the organization? What type of decisions will help the organization in the attainment of goals? And it is only the planning which facilitates this decision making. Planning provides the standards. Planning provides the information and data to the management that when the plan was drawn, these were the things which we have to keep in our mind. And on the basis of the same, the management has to decide that what type of activities are to be performed. And once the activities are performed, after that, they have to decide what more changes will be taking place in that activity, since the environment is ever changing. And they have to look it into the environment, and they have to look at the execution or the feasibility of the operations which were decided well in advance. So whatever changes are required, the business organization has to make certain changes which will be in the beneficial or which will be in the favor of the business organization. So students, in this way, we have to come to an end of the importance of planning. You must have understood that planning is very, very important. It's not only important in the business organizations. You can also apply planning in your real life situations. Most of you or even all of you will be having an idea to score 100 marks in business studies in this particular year. Students, mere thinking will not ensure that surely you are going to get it. But if you are putting all the actions in a planned way. If you're deciding that in a particular day, how many hours you have to study maths, how many hours you have to study accountancy, how many hours you have to study business studies, English, maths, then certainly you'll be able to decide that 
how these are going to help you in getting good marks in your 12th standard. So not only in business studies you are targeting 100, you must be targeting in other subjects as well. But may your targeting will not help you in getting the same. You have to plan your activities. And again, may your planning will not ensure you will get it. You have to execute your plans to the perfection. It happens you are planning on a particular day and after three days it is just coming out of the mind and you are just concentrating on something else. So you have to be committed throughout the year and only then you will be able to achieve your objective that is getting good marks in 12th standard so that you can have a good college in future. Now we have come to an end of the importance of planning. You have understood the planning is not only meant for the business organization. It is required everywhere, schools, colleges, churches, temples, mosques. What type of organization you talk of? And even I have given you the example of your only. That if you have to plan something, it is very much important to plan. And if you are having the planning, certainly after execution of the plans, you will be able to achieve what you would like to achieve. So if you haven't started planning about your topics, students, now just go for it. Plan it properly. If you are failing to do so, take the help of your teachers. They will certainly guide you how you can get the best marks in a particular subject. Students, now we have come to an end of the importance of planning. In it, we have studied that how important planning is for an organization. We have studied that planning provides direction to the operations of the organization. Planning reduces the risk and uncertainty which are prevailing in the environment. Planning reduces overlapping and wasteful activities of the organization which helps in bringing the cost and helping in getting more profits. Planning promotes innovative ideas which are important for any business organization for getting the success. It establishes standards for controlling. Without planning, no controlling will be done. And students, at last, planning facilitates decision making. So in this way, we have come to an end of importance of planning. And students, in our next episode, we'll continue with the same chapter. And our next topic of discussion would be the types of plans. Thank you. Thank you.